Hello, I'm Warren Heyer. I'm the husband of the painter whose uh, paintings you just saw. We're going to go in and visit uh, Roberta Heyer, the painter, in a few moments. But before we do, I thought you'd like to see the yard that uh, reflects her artistry in almost everything she does. This is the, uh, the planting we have here. And uh, before we go in, I'll have the cameraman look around at the, at the planting we have in front of the house. This house, by the way, was designed by Roberta and by me before we built it. We, we moved the house on and we designed the front room and you'll see the inside as we go in. This is our view from our front, uh, from our front patio looking out towards the seashore. You can actually see the And you can look through the window and see the painter at work on a new creation. Let's go in and, uh, and meet her. Come on in. This is the living room that she, she and I designed and she's furnished. And those are her paintings on the wall. That's that marvelous uh, adobe slump block, uh, imitation adobe, concrete blocks. Almost all the furniture we have is selected by her and it's almost all used. We pride ourselves on being able to find beautiful furniture. She does in finding beautiful furniture uh, that nobody else wants and that she recognizes. And she says, you better hurry up. She's just about finished, so come right in and uh, I'll take a look at her over here. She is, will probably smile at the camera if she can divert her attention. What are you calling this painting, Roberta? What? I Oh, it's called Falling Water Card. But right now, I'm heightening the blue in the painting, so snap up just a bit more. These are my brushes. These are my glazes. This is the drawer full of glasses. These are my blacks and whites and grays. This is gloss, which I don't use too often. Sometimes three, sometimes six, sometimes more. Would you like, wouldn't you have uh, done well in a larger studio? You look like you have everything crammed in here on top of it. No, this is fine. Is this a good light, good lighting area here for painting? <laughs> Morning, it's perfect. In the afternoon, it's good until about four or five o'clock. Then I have to pull the shades. Oh. But I've got a combination of cool light from the west in the morning and this um, fluorescent. fluorescent. This is cool painting, so the cool light brings out the same kind of feeling from the painting. And this 
good look at the bread. <laughs> yeah, it's risen too much again. I hope it's not. Look at that. What were you saying, Mom? You spend a lot of time contemplating the painting, checking the values and the color structure, the darks and lockets. Then, if you want to take a good look, Changes. What do you think? Well, Is it done? The one thing that bothers me is this tree. I think it's too bright. So I want to get strong. I uh, repaint. Otherwise, I think it's pinched. Now, this one is two grits, one on top of the other. You do this with a yardstick on the campus. So I divided the canvas up into 18 areas. Now if you look at the canvas, you can see traces of this grid. You can follow it all the way through. Okay, the second grid that went on top of this is the grid from this picture. And the strongest grid that I saw was this line of the roofs. So I put that here, then this, and this. And I found a vertical here. I put, put in the vertical. And I continued until I had the most important lines from this painting. If you see a strong line here, you extend vectors up and down from that line. Just like this roof, you extend the vector up and down. And here it is. Okay, then I've got these two grids on my canvas. Very complicated. So I took this picture and tried to fit this image into the grids. In some places I changed 